hello and let's talk about some plants. <laughs> so I wanted to do a little bit of a plant update video because I haven't really done one in a long time and also it's summer so things are happening. I did my last plant tour a few months ago, a couple months ago and things are happening. So I just wanted to have this kind of as a record so that I could look back in the future and see what is happening right now. So have some positive updates, have some not great updates, but let's just get into it. To start on a positive note, I have a new leaf coming out on my Philodendron Silver Sword, as you can see, if it would not focus on my face. Yeah, so here it's kind of doing the little Cinderella slipper thing, but I've been really on top of it the past couple days, misting it multiple times a day. You can't really see, um, yeah, you, it's like really hard to see when you look at it, but it is starting to split the like um, sheath kind of, it's starting to split a little bit more to let the leaf out. So I'm hoping that I don't have to intervene at all with this. Um, I should honestly start taking this into the bathroom when I shower, just so it gets that like extra dose of humidity. This second newest leaf or the one that I put out is so much bigger than the other one. So this is the newest full leaf that's out. This is the second newest leaf. So look at that change in size from this leaf, which I did have to save to this one. So I'm really curious to see how big this one is and I'm really excited to see that progress. So I've been trying to be really good about misting it because my room humidity isn't as high as it could be. And then I've also been taking a wet Q-tip and just running it along the top of the sheath here to kind of help moisten it and help to loosen it without actually like putting the Q-tip in there and causing possible damage. So that's really exciting. I can't wait for that leaf to actually come out. Fingers crossed it comes out beautifully. Another new leaf that is coming out is on my Monstera Peru. So you can see the little guy starting to come out there. Um, I'm not sure that it's going to be as big as this leaf that is its newest leaf. This leaf was starting to poke out when I bought the plant from Peace Love Happiness Club in Seattle. And then I like transported it back to Bozeman and then the leaf fully unfurled. So this was still in like really good conditions, high humidity under grow light. I'm not sure how big this leaf is going to be. I guess we'll just have to see, but I am very excited. Something that's weird and I really just need to repot this plant is the terracotta that it is in got so weirdly moldy. I've had this happen with some pots and plants, but never to this extent. And I really just need to repot it into something, but I don't have a like the correct size pot to put it in except for that one. So I really need to work on that, oops. <laughs> Another update is with my philodendron mic hands. Yes, this is my philodendron mic hands. I just potted up this leaf with it. So initially it was just this leaf in here by itself. They are two different propagations. I just put this one in yesterday. It had rooted pretty well in water and I was ready to just throw it into some soil and see what happens. So hopefully I can have more than two leaves by the end of the year. I'd love to have like four leaves if possible. I just want a big beautiful pot of my cans, except they're so expensive still here in Bozeman. Whenever I see them at the store, first of all, they never come to our like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, anything like that. And then whenever I see them at our local plant store, the Garden Barn, um, there's a couple other local plant stores, but that's like the biggest one and the one where it's easiest to find plants. They are still so expensive. They will have like a three inch pot of my cans for like $45 and I refuse to spend that much on it. And just for reference, like their plants, their plants in general are just so expensive. Like they'll still be selling like four inch string of hearts for $45. Like it's absurd. So anyway, I think this might be the last update that I actually bring to the camera. And it is my Pilea peperomioides, my friendship plant, my Chinese money plant, whatever you want to call it. It is doing so well. I'm trying to do slightly better with rotating it. Clearly not doing the best job at it. Um, but honestly, just because it is leaning so much, like the main stem is leaning, I don't really care that all the leaves are on one side. But anyway, there are so many babies in here and they are all so big themselves. Like this baby is massive. They're just everywhere. Like I can't even really show you how many babies are in this pot. It's absurd. I'm obsessed and I can't decide if I want to keep them all in there 
or maybe try to separate them, grow them out, sell them, trade them, whatever. But I think it would also be kind of cool to just have like a little forest of Pelea peperomioides. So can't really decide, but I am really excited because I did have this plant for almost two years before it put off any babies and then it shot them all off at once. So excited about that, but I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. So there's that. <laughs> For my other updates, I think it's just going to be easiest to move the camera around. So let's get to that more like vlogish style, I guess, updates. So over here, I want to update on the Plants on Planks expedition. Nothing has actually rooted onto the plank. And I'm wondering if part of it is, I think a lot of it is probably just the humidity in my room, but I think part of it might also just be how smooth these planks are they are pine and so my boyfriend has suggested maybe putting them on some cedar he has some cedar and it's like rougher edge so they might be able to like root in a little bit easier because it's rougher it might be a little bit softer to like kind of get into one of those cracks but the main update i wanted to give was on the Cebu blue which was really not doing well for a while i actually just plucked off a, a dead leaf today but you can see like there's this leaf which is yellowing quite a bit this one is starting to yellow. Um, this one is yellowing. And I just actually moved it down into a smaller pot, maybe about three or so weeks ago, hoping that that would help it. Um, I think part of the issue was it was in too big of a pot. And even with how much I was watering it, there like, I think the wood kind of soaked up a lot of the water. So I need to probably be more on top of watering this. I think that was the biggest issue. But since I put it on the plank, even though it's not rooted in, some of the leaves were quite nice and big like this one, but it is getting back to giving me some quite smaller leaves. And these ones also look like they might be yellowing. So I don't really know what to do. I think I'm going to stick with it and keep it trying to grow on the plank for a little bit. Even if it's not growing on the plank, I can still just use this tape to put it up on the plank um but yeah I'm gonna stick it out for a little bit longer the philodendron also isn't like attaching to the plank anywhere but it is doing quite well like this leaf is absolutely gorgeous these leaves towards the top like quite nice again they are a little bit smaller like it gave me this big leaf and then it did get a little bit smaller I have never repotted this in the entire time I owned it I immediately got it and potted it up into this like six inch ceramic pot in here, but I never have given it a bigger pot. So I'm probably, that's probably what it wants if I'm guessing, but I don't know. I like the way it looks, even if the leaves don't get super big. I love the way that the lime green looks with the new color of my walls. And I just think it's really pretty and it's doing, it's doing all right. This was a begonia rex that I had in a prop box for honestly, probably like a full year. And it had massively long roots. And I was just like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of keeping prop boxes. I'm just gonna pot everything up. And this perished immediately after potting it up. It lasted like two days and then it died. And it's 100% probably due to the humidity. So, oh well, rest in peace, Begonia Rex. And it's been in this pot dead for like three weeks and I haven't done anything about it. So I need to work on that. <laughs> Um, also right next to it, this is a positive update. This peperomia, I can't remember what kind, beetle, quadrangularis, I don't remember. Um, finally put off some new growth for me. It hasn't grown since last, the end of last summer when I purchased it. And it finally put off a little bit of growth. And then this peperomia, Hope, right, I think, is also putting off some new growth right there, as well as at the end of its vines. This is all new. These here and down here are new and there's some more and then same over here. I think this one, this one and down here is new. So those really woke up this summer. Another big update is my Hoya pubic helix it is climbing up the hanger finally and finally putting off new growth. So all of those tendrils are new. These leaves down here are new. These leaves over here are new. This tendril that it's trying to shoot up also new. So it's finally doing some things. There's actually two plants in here. This one on the right over here hasn't really done anything yet for me, but it's not like it's dying or anything. So I don't know. I'm just happy that some part of it is finally growing and taking off. 
Another update over here, a long time ago, I chopped up my Raphidophora a little bit more. Um, honestly, like a year ago, and I put these propagations in and it's growing and putting off new leaves. Um, so this leaf was the new one it put off, or the first one it put off after being propagated, and then it already put off the fenestrated ones. And then there's another propagation in here that has this little baby leaf, and then this one, which was bigger, and this other one that it's unfurling, which is smaller and not fenestrated, but you know, it's putting off little growth. And then I chopped it again, maybe four months ago, not four months ago, it couldn't have been that long. I don't know how many months ago. And it shot off this new growth point and it already had a fenestrated leaf. Um, well, it should have, but had a fenestrated leaf and then it's putting off another one. And then there's another little growth point over here. And it looks like I might get a third growth point right there. Maybe, I don't know. That's pretty exciting though. Just trying to, I don't know if I want a fuller plant. I don't really know what I want with this, but chopped it up and it seems to be doing okay. So I'm here for that. Down here is my big angel wing begonia and it looks like it's doing fine. It keeps putting off these really big leaves. This one is the newest leaf down on this um, vine-ish thing. And it's quite a lot smaller than the other leaves back here. And I did just have to take off the oldest leaf from the plant, which had turned into like this everywhere. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm just gonna keep a bit of a better eye on this plant because it is one of my favorites. I got it for free, like as a cutting, when it had maybe two leaves. And now it's big and beautiful and massive and I love it. So I'm a little bit concerned about this. This has been on this leaf for like the entire time I've had the plant, but I, I am concerned about the fact that that other leaf turned totally like this and then I just plucked it off yesterday actually. And then up here I have the sad, lonely Tridescantia Nanook. This is a cutting that I got from a friend and it seems to be doing fine, but every time I get this to kind of grow a little bit and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna propagate it and chop a prop, then the prop dies. So I don't know, I'm just kind of living with the fact that I might never have a full pot of this again. I had a full pot of it about a year ago and then I divvied it up and kind of sold a bunch of it. And then I've kind of fallen out of love with Tradescantia. So this is that one. And yeah, I have this one and then two others, I guess three others, but yeah. Then out on my landing, I'm sorry about the noise from my laundry. My avocado tree is so happy. It's going off. It's putting off so many new leaves right now. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-ish or so leaves. So it's quite happy just doing its avocado tree thing. Um, over here, my rickrack cactus. Uh, some of it looks really happy, like there's all this new growth that looks quite happy, and some of it was quite sun-stressed for a little bit, but this older growth is not doing so great. Like, it gets soggy really quickly. Like, this is totally dead. Like, this is paper thin and wrinkly and soggy no matter how much I water it. This one, too, is thick but wrinkly and it doesn't need to be watered. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm overwatering it. I don't think I'm underwatering it. I think I'm doing quite a good job of watering, so it might just be that they're old paddles and time to go. I don't know. Also, I would love to give this more light because that is a west-facing window, but we are quite far from it. So I'm hoping that I can do a little bit of reorganization in my room to get this right next to my west-facing windowsill, or if I could find an east-facing windowsill on the other side of the house to put it on because I really do love this plant. It was a wishless plant for a very long time. I think it looks so unique. Um, and the propagations that I put up with it a while ago, some of them are fine. And then some of them like this one, it, like that's totally dead. There's no way that's alive. But these ones I think are holding on okay. Oh my gosh, this camera's not focusing. But I think these ones are holding on okay. And like this one has some light green so it looks like it's some new growth. I don't really know. But over here, my Norfolk pine is it's just dying and I'm kind of letting it happen, honestly. That being said, there are a lot of new growth like on the ends of this uppermost 
like layer of tree. Um, but there's also like a lot of dead stuff that's happening. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the watering. I just think it's in far too big of a pot for how big this plant is. When I got this plant, um, I got it from a woman who was moving from Bozeman, I think. And she had just chopped off like a massive portion of the tree. So you can see this is where it was chopped there. And then it was also chopped down here. And I think it might've just been like a really shocking chop. And then not very long after she cut it, she ended up moving and wanting to sell it. So I think that it's all just coming together to make a perfect bad storm. Um, so I don't know. It just kind of is what it is. I do like the appearance of this tree, but I just don't think I'm un quite as in love with it as I used to be, like when I first got it. So I don't know. And then some updates for my plants downstairs. I just uprooted this and kind of split it apart and checked out the roots and redistributed it in the pot this morning. I didn't film it because I just didn't really feel like it. But there have been quite a few leaves. I plucked off a couple today that kind of look like this. Um, you can see that kind of discoloration coming through and they would turn like totally yellow and brown and then die. Um, and I wasn't sure for a while if it maybe thrips or what. So I gave it a couple treatments a handful of times and I just don't really know what it is. So I just went in there, checked out the roots, separated the plant a little bit more, added in some fresh soil. Um, so we'll see how it does after kind of giving it that love. And I hope it does a little bit better. I would like a fuller plant. Right now I only really have these two longer vines. So I've been thinking about cutting them and propagating them to put them back in and get a fuller plant. But I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm hoping it does okay. And then in the back here is another angel wing begonia. And I need to get a bigger stake because this middle plant, this one grew so quickly. It shot up and it had really spaced out leaves. I think it's because it doesn't get a lot of light because this one blocks it. But this one on the far left has kind of stunted itself. It's not been growing too much. The one in the middle grows the most. And then the one on the right is also still growing quite a bit. But I need taller stakes because um, I run, I've run out of room. So I need to go get some like wooden dowels or something from Lowe's for that plant. And then I don't know that I have a whole lot of other exciting updates here. This plant is just going off. Um, oh, I guess here I potted up these propagations also quite a while ago. I did a big like repot potting propagations thing just one day when I when the semester finished and I finally had time to hang out with my plants, but I didn't film it because I just wanted to do it for me. And it's been doing quite well. So it put off this leaf. There's another leaf down there. There's a leaf over here that is shooting out. Is there another one back here? I think that might be it for now, but it's doing quite well. So I'm happy about that. And I think that's all of the updates I really wanted to share today. I also have my tomatoes going outside, um, but that's not indoor gardening. So we're not going to talk about it today. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.